And that's where we begin tonight with our exclusive bombshell interview with former Astros general manager Jeff Luno, who was no fired way. after the team's sign-stealing scandal. Luno is speaking out for the first time and is not taking blame for the scandal that led to the Astros being labeled as cheaters. Channel 2 sports reporter Vanessa Richardson sat down with Luno for that exclusive interview. She joins us now in studio with more on this big interview. Vanessa? Yeah, we've heard from A.J. Hinch, some players. Jim Crane has had press conferences. But this was the first time we heard from Jeff Luno, who, of course, has been painted as the mastermind of the scandal. Here are some of the highlights from my exclusive interview. I didn't know we were cheating. I had no idea. I wasn't involved. And it felt like on that day that I was getting punished for something that I didn't do. And it didn't feel, it didn't feel right. From the beginning, you've had the same story, which is that you did not know about cheating on any level. When was the first time you heard anything about the Astros cheating in any capacity? There had been some rumors in 2018, and in fact, at two points in time, someone from MLB uh, told me either in a casual conversation or called me and said there had been rumors of the Astros sign stealing in 2017. After the Red Sox and the Yankees were punished in 2017, uh, I had a conversation with our manager and I asked him if anybody in our dugout was using Fitbits or Apple Watches or anything that would be remotely considered against the rules. Um, he told me that someone, one of our coaches had been using an Apple Watch, but after the uh, incident with the Red Sox had stopped wearing it because clearly we weren't supposed to be doing that. Um, he did not tell me anything else about trash can banging or any impropriety. Some people will say there is no way you couldn't have known. Do you have any evidence of that? So I, I understand that if I were a fan and, and, and I heard about this scandal, I would assume that the GM might have known. Um, so I get that. And, and let, let's start by me saying I wish I knew, because if I knew this never would have gotten to where it got to. Um, I do have a lot of evidence. It's hard to prove that you didn't know something. It's proving a negative. But the investigation interviewed dozens and dozens of people, players, video staff members, coaches, etc. None of them said that I knew. After the investigation was over and I was fired, um, I got access to about 22,000 text messages that were from personnel in the video room. And it was clear from those messages that they were communicating back and forth about the rule violations. They were aware of the Red Sox and Yankees rule violations. They were aware it was wrong. I was shocked to walk in your house and see Astros pictures, memorabilia, your son's jersey is framed, you have bobbleheads in your office. Are you still rooting for this team? Very much so. I mean, I, you know, all the players on the team, from Yuli to, uh, it's unfortunate JV wasn't able to pitch much this year, Jordan, but Bregman, Altuve, I mean, you know, you develop strong relationship with players uh, over the course of time. I feel very close to them and some of the coaches and some of the people in the front office, and, and absolutely, uh, I root for the Astros. Luno also talked about his future career plans. He said to get back in baseball, he would have to trust the owners, but he also said he's considering the NBA, NFL, and soccer. Chris and Dominique.